Welcome back to 21 and 21, day 19 of belief. Today, it's food matters. For those of you who believe in God, who follow hard after him and his ways, what if I told you what you eat can be a form of worship, an offering as it were? Every day there are works prepared in advance for you to do by this God. Good works, ones that you're gonna enjoy and love and leap out of bed every morning to get to do those works. Yet if your body's not properly fueled, your body type, you're going to miss these works. For example, in our family, we indulge on my mom's lasagna. When we do this, we're not moving for a few hours. While some may argue that we deserve a treat or this indulgence every once in a while, the other side of that argument coin is, do we? Does my body really deserve to slow down its digestive tract causing blockages? Or take the once in a while Coke or Pepsi. I don't wanna start a war over which one is, is better, but think about it. Does your body really deserve your insulin levels to spike to an unholy degree? Cells being pinged and ponged around by, by tons and tons of sugar molecules? And then your energy tanking after a few hours of drinking that Coke or Pepsi or whatever your beverage of choice is. I can only speculate where this belief came into play that we deserve treats. And these aren't even treats. And the days where we indulge to this degree is really astounding. This belief is so pervasive in our culture that we have an outstanding, I should say, an astonishing number of people who are sick, all from food choices. We have an incredible amount of people not walking in their purpose because they physically cannot do so. This is not okay. This is just a belief that I'll meddle with and I'll poke at because I firmly believe, and I know it's truth, that everybody is designed by God for greatness. Yet, if we can't move into that because of the food choices that we have, there's something amiss here. What if the solution is simple? Believing that your body is truly the temple of God. And what if we change our belief of eating and fueling our bodies to, I'm eating this so that I have the most optimal energy for the day so I can accomplish the things that God has for me. You know, when the children of Israel were entering into the promised land, one of the things promised was amazing food, rich crops of grapes, pomegranates, figs, dates, milk, honey. All of those things, I'd like a plate of them right now, please. Did you know that each one of these foods listed is life-giving, antioxidant-rich, protein-induced? Each Somebody could survive on this set of foods all by themselves. You could literally live your whole life eating grapes, pomegranates, figs, dates, honey, and drinking milk. Well, of course, water. These are beyond delicious, these foods. Food matters. It's a form of service and offering. You have a job to do. Be sure that you are physically equipped to do it. We'll see you next time. Thank you.